Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Poco X3 Pro and finally we have official Lineage OS 18.1 available for this device. I've installed it, been using it for the last 12 hours, ran a few benchmarks, checked the UI and here we have our first impressions. The video of how to install it will follow up soon. We also have Orange Fox available for this device. That is my favorite custom recovery. So I'll be making a video on how to install that recovery as well. So a lot of stuff coming up. Please stay tuned and subscribe if you have not. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, as I said, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other. So join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Alright, so finally we have Lineage OS officially available for the Mi 11X and now for the Poco X3 Pro. Now let's see over here, Lineage OS 18.1 official Android 11 updated on the 3rd of September. This works on YU and Bima and the vendor is OSS. Alright, now device change log says this is an initial official release. Notes can be dirty flashed over the previous unofficial build as I said last week. Suggested firmware 12.5.2 global or greater. G apps not included, mind the G apps or open G apps recommended, SE Linux status is enforcing, safety net basic integrity passes non CTS. See here for more info. So you can go ahead and read further details. And these are the credits. And if you can manage, go ahead and support the team because remember, these developers are doing these things for free for our devices. So supporting them in any way possible is going to be really, really great. Now, let's get back to the ROM. Lineage OS being Lineage OS on its own is nothing new, nothing special. But when you talk about the newer devices, devices which have come in the last two to three years from the time we've started getting high refresh rate displays. So devices, you know, have started getting processes like 860, 870 from that time. Custom ROMs have become very, very important because just now, you know, if you run Poco X3 Pro on the stock MIUI ROM, you will notice that it doesn't run that great, although it might game great, but the UI this particular smoothness that you see over here going to Google feed. It's just beautiful. All right. Now, all that said and done, let's go ahead and talk about lineage OS. So if you actually go to settings over here, right? And if you actually go to about phone, you can go ahead and check the Android version 11 lineage OS 18.1. This is a nightly build. This is the name of the API and it comes with the August security patch and this is the build date. The kernel that it comes with is the Lineage OS kernel itself. Now the moment you boot into this particular ROM, you're greeted with a very, very basic and clean user interface. Now the reason Lineage OS is known to be a very, very smooth and fluid ROM is because look at the amount of apps that it boots with. It Even after installing G apps, you have like, I don't know, 15 or 20 applications because we have the benchmark applications that we have installed. And that is the reason the whole experience is very, very smooth, very, very fast, very, very cohesive on any device, no matter what, because it doesn't put that much bloatware or that much more load on your system, if you will. And 6 GB RAM becomes plenty for these AOSP ROMs. Now, if you go on the home screen, you have styles and wallpaper, where of course, all pretty Android 11 custom ROMs will give you these options. You can go ahead and do the customization of your choice. So this works great. At the same time, you have widgets, your Android 11 styles widgets, and you do have your home settings. Now, this over here is something that varies from device to device, ROM to ROM, right? And this over here is the launcher which comes with Lineage OS and it gives you some customization. It doesn't really give you a lot of customization. Now to the left, of course, you have my favorite Google feed because as I said, I use it 10 times a day and for me, this is something that should be working really, really fluid. And as you can see, it is smooth as butter. I really hope Xiaomi can start doing something like this. They've already started with the enhanced editions and I hope they can continue doing that. Anyways, so, you know, the Google feed works fine. If you swipe from the top to bottom, you do have your quick tiles or notification tiles, and you do have things like dark theme, AOD and all that stuff. Don't use AOD by the way, because this is a Poco X3 Pro, which comes with LCD panel and it will increase your battery consumption. Now I'm looking for the screen recorder option over here. There you go. You have the screen recorder option. 
So let's go ahead and click on it. And you can record device audio and microphone. So that's good. Let's click on start. You get a timer over here. And then let's see the UI. You do get a vibration or a sound notification. Okay, I would not say this is the absolute best implementation. At the same time, the system is not lagging, but I can feel that you know it is doing something in the background. That is the reason it is not as smooth as it should be. But that's okay. This is the first build of Lineage OS and sooner or later, these things will get ironed out. So you don't need to worry about that. As far as the camera is concerned, it comes with a very, very basic camera application. No portrait mode, nothing. Everything works as expected. So you can go ahead and install Gcam. This is just there to get the job done. Now, moving on, if you actually go to settings, this is pure vanilla Android. Very, very clean. Not a lot of customization. Only thing is if you go to system, you go to status bar, you do have some customization options over here, right? And apart from that, you have some gesture customizations for the power menu and stuff like that so you can go ahead and do that and you have a built-in updater as well now remember to use the built-in updater you will have to be on the lineage os recovery so please take care of that now apart from this you don't really get a lot of customization and that is the reason lineage os is light and fast and supports so many devices and your Android 11 privacy section and everything else is covered over here pretty, pretty well. So all in all, you know, since the time I booted into Lineage OS, it makes calls just fine. The camera application works just fine. I've not seen any overheating, random reboots or, you know, I've not tested games. So I will not say that this gives you constant 90 FPS, which is a dream for a lot of people. Anyways, that is a discussion for a gaming review. Not now. We'll quickly go ahead and have a look at the benchmark numbers because this is the initial impressions and we need to have a look at the benchmark numbers. So first, CPU throttle test. Not the best performance out there because it did go down to 80% throttle and the average score was 182, 579 GIPS. But let's have a look at Geekbench over here real quick. 770 and 2563. Again, you know, a mediocre score, not too bad, not too good. And this is coming from the first ever build official one. So, you know, you can't really say much. If you change the kernel, bam, you will experience a lot of differences. And again, 558, 245 is right off, you know, where almost all the custom ROMs for the Poco X3 Pro are scoring. So more or less, you know, the performance is good. The ROM is stable. The charging works fine. Everything is there. If you want to try the nightly of Lineage OS 18.1, the link is mentioned in the description and I will be making an install video as well. Let me know in the comment section, what are your thoughts on Lineage OS? Have you tried it? How is it for gaming? That will give me direction to make for further future videos. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.